sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to go that far out. Um. I wanted to go back to the main character screens. <coughs> really fast, because I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is my main character, and I wanted to show you guys briefly um, what we have in store for him, or what you have in store for him, uh, or what you have in store for your characters as you play along. Um, and the one thing with the Secret World that's um, unlike any other game is this, uh, there's no real class. Uh, the classes are done as far as uh, what weapons you choose, how you choose to play them. Uh, you have loadouts like crazy. I don't need you. Thank you. Uh oh. Not good. I have a little frame rate. But that's. Oh, Agatha's always been like that, though. As you can see here, I have this really cool motorcycle. I can use my drive, my uh, speed skill for. So instead of running, I actually have this for my quick speed. Now, let's get off this thing. As you can see, his bar is pretty high up there. He's got a lot going on, including the special weapon which you have behind me. Nice, huh? These guys are too low level for my taste. But I want to give you an idea of how these, Some of the skill sets work. Nice, huh? Uh, now this will change pe brings people to you. Here we paint alone. <clears throat> Smoke and mirrors and and uh, this one right here, illusion, makes it so that your enemies cannot hit you. And these scenes right here is for healing only. And then you do this. And you stack up your healing points. And our map it looks like a regular uh, city map. <clears throat> now, this is one of the dark terminal areas. It's really uh, one of the worst places in the world to go to. And uh, that is Argatha. And you can make markers on the screen where you want thing, uh, to see things, where you want things to go. Um, I used to have this thing set up as one map because there was one mission that we had that we had, everybody's having problems with. You had to talk to the uh, uh, 
the sites here, the Oracle, um, Madame Roche, I think his name was, and um, she um, talks about these birds. You're supposed to follow the crows, and you're supposed to follow them. It's trying to figure. It was hard to figure out where to go because if you didn't know where the crows were, you couldn't find them. Uh, so I literally had the map marked out, and I actually was able to use a map for all my characters every time I played. Uh, but still. And I have a host of things here you can see, different weapons. I actually have some fixed here because I have some broken stuff I gotta get taken care of. Console of Venice. I don't have money to repair everything, bummer. At least I have to repair what it's on me, that's better than nothing. I have to repair my thing thoroughly. In that case, you can see how that works. So yeah, there's a lot uh, waiting for you in this game. Uh, when you play, the higher level you get, uh, the more things you can do, the more weapons you can unlock, the more skills you can unlock. Uh, this is my character right now. I have to complete this one mission in order to get the whip set up. So he's it's a little hasn't been done yet. I even though I've started, it, it's really been really tough for me. Um, and I have 32 skill points, but I want to make sure I put the 10 on here when it lets me put, because I need 35 for that, and I don't have enough still. But here is my uh, tree, or my uh, wheel. As you can see, um, all of the bomb sequences are finished and played out. I can do any weapon, any ranged weapon, any melee weapon, any magic weapon. Some of the upper level areas are starting to get filled out, depends on what I need and what I use the most. I'm primarily chaos, uh, chaos magic, I love my chaos. I do my fist like crazy, I love my blade. I have my assault rifle on this character, I do a lot, and I have some miscellaneous stuff on the uh, two tiers there. I haven't got the third one yet, but still. Um, so you can see how that fills out. So I can change roles, I can change abilities. Um, we have the thing called loadouts. Uh, well, I don't. I you don't really call them loadouts, but still, it's, it's basically what it is. Uh, it's called gear management in this, and basically it's our loadout. We sit there and we we look to see what the gear is going to look like. You can view the gear. And I tell you what your gear is and what your um, abilities are. I don't have the gear anymore for that one, so I have to re I have to re gear that one because everything's changed. So that's my gear for that. If I want to go, uh, that's what I call. Um, fist which was because it's um, assault rifle fist uh, my DPS when I shows you what my abilities are right now this is different because I'm not using the the uh,
crushing well there and I'm uh, using the rocket launcher so I have sword and chaos right now I'm using the chaos and the and the claws but that's my DPS and I do some serious damage plus some nice support with my two heal factors Yeah, it keeps on we have the same things over again, and I've already actually collected all this stuff. But it tries to make me collect them again. It just won't let me delete anything. Well, I guess it will in this case. Okay, that's fine. In any case, that is pretty much the game on its whole. Um, that is the PvP sequences. You can see there how everything works. Uh, and you can also see that right now, it looks like the Templars are winning in this zone. Ah, the dragons have all but consumed this one. And it uh, looks like um, we're pretty much even. This is getting ready to start. Now, this is how we craft things you put things together, break things apart, the whole nine yards. Uh, I'll explain that more of that as we go along. I'm trying to remember how to pull up the friends list, the social. It's really weird in this game. Nope, that's that one. That's the store. In any case, guys, um, so I really wanted to go to the to the um, logout screen. I just wanted to go to the character uh, screen, but uh, that didn't happen. Now, our, now our. Um, Guild is called Cabals in here, so that's how that works. Oh, shift definitely. There we go. So there's my friends list. Unfortunately, all my friends are offline. I haven't seen any of these people in a very, very long time, and I miss every single one of them very, very much. Uh, guys, if you ever see this again, hi. Thank you for being my friend on this great great group of ours um, maybe someday we can play again alright but that is uh, I believe pretty much it for now um, it is getting very very late and it is time to go and so I want to thank everybody who stopped by and checked out my channel again like I said um, <coughs> Anyone who stops by after the fact and uh, watches this, we'll be trying to do some more of Secret World uh, and show you some of the story lineups you know, as we go along for the game. And um, again, uh, just see what fun we can have with this. And then again, we're going to get back into the park that they prequel to this game and uh, have some fun there as well. I hope you guys enjoy me for that. Um, Alright, Seamus, time to go back to Agatha. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions about uh, the games I play, please tweet me at Cybrat, is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, and you can uh, leave direct messages on Twitter, of course. You can uh, leave comments on my uh, YouTube page, The Rats Cast, where you can find all my earlier broadcasts, including the uh, first part of the park, which I suggest you watch before Wednesday and before we start playing the second part. Um, and uh, please do subscribe and thumbs up anything you like of all my videos. I have a huge list. 
Uh, I believe it's now up to 17 pages. Something like that was ridiculous. It's absolute. I don't believe how many pages I actually have right now, but yeah, it's quite a lot. And, um, of course, if you're catching this for the first time and you want to see more of this, of, of, what I, of what I do, more games I play, because I do play quite a lot of games, and you want to try to catch me live, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter. They'll always inform me when I come on. I'm usually on around midnight, more or less, on around, no, around midnight uh, Pacific time. So if you're up around then, you can watch me then. And then on my days off, they tend to be a little more sporadic. So again, you want to be watching uh, on Twitch uh, or, or logging into uh, um, follow me on Twitch and Twitter so they let you know when I'm uh, logging in so you can catch those times. So. But, uh, that is going to be all for today, uh, gamers, thank you again very much, it means a lot to me that you actually show up and be here and to hang out with me, so, until next time, this is CyberRat signing out for now, later, bye.